Hello everyone, uh, I just thought I should make this quick video <laughs> because um, recently my car got uh, uh, boggled into, uh, they removed my catalyt uh, catalytic, I think it's called, catalytic converter, it was cut out with something like a machine, it was cut out, I'm very upset and angry, it's been very difficult for me because um, I love the car. That car has been with me for a very long time. And we share the same birthday as well. Um, since February, since, you know, during the barrier of share, I just, after going to the barrier of share, I just didn't want to see the car because it was just bringing me so much memories. I just like, that's it. I just ignored it for a while and because of coronavirus as well. Um, but I'm beginning to feel that maybe I made a mistake not going to see the car. I saw it in August, but I should have gone back to see it again. But they had a sticker on it. Let me show you. They had this sticker, my cancel. And the sticker states that my car with the number and where it was parked, apparently it, was, it has been abandoned. It's like <laughs> car abandonment or rather, it's like it's child abandonment, you know? So I'm angry and I'm upset, but what can I do? I either fix the car and continue driving it, but my... Um, my uh, uh, mechanic said I should scrap the car because it's not worth it. But so what I want to do now is try to fix it myself because I've done quite a bit of work on my car, my own before. So I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to order the new catalytic con converter. Unfortunately, they say there is no lock and there is no way I can protect the car because it can happen again. And we have criminals in my area now. Um, with coronavirus, they are more emboldened. So, and desperate as well. So they will do anything in order to, to, to get stuff from you. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to fix certain parts of the car and, and then take it back. And the worst part of it all is that my key got stuck in the ignition and it won't come off. So I need to know how to get that out first, remove the dashboard and take it out. Because I've done it before. I've taken the steering wheel out before. I've done so many things before. I can sulk and be sad and cry, which I did before I was sulking in a car because I was so confused. Um, but uh, now that it's happened, it has happened. I'm going to go out there and do something about it. So watch this space. The next few months, if you walk out, I'll let you guys all know. If the worst comes to the worst, if I spend up to a bit of amount of money and it doesn't work out, then then I would have to scrap it. But for now, I think I will still give it a try because I really do like the car, even though it's an old car. So how are you guys? I hope you're all okay and I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have been so busy and also messed up with emotionally with dramas, so many things going on around my, my life and losing close friends and all of that. I've been so withdrawn. But I'm going to try to come out more often now and I'm going to try to uh, get out more to talk to you guys a bit more. All right. So love you all and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. Kisses. Bye.